know her. Yeah. Okay, hello. This is the eye look that I'm gonna show on the other eye. I've done my eyebrows and I'll do the face last, so keep watching. So first things first, I'm gonna start with um, my eyebrows and I'm using the Cabral by Benefit in the shade four. And I'm just gonna use the little brush that comes with it because Okay, so after I filled it in, I'm gonna brush it out with a little brow brush, like that. And I use the other end of the brow brush. So I'm gonna take the um, Boing, 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 whatever from Benefit in the shade number one. I'm pale. First of all, I'm gonna use that as my primer on my eyelids because I like it. And then I'm gonna take like the excess and just clean up my brow. And after you got that, um, I'm just going to blend everything out and then set it with some powder. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all blended out and I'm just going to take this Morphe translucent setting powder and um, an e.l.f. small taper brush and just set that. <coughs> got on my mouth. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350M palette. Um, it looks like this, and I'm gonna take the shade right here to start the transition color. Yep, that's what I meant. So that's gonna be my transition color right there. And I'm literally gonna use like three colors for this whole thing. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, that shade right there, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. By the way, I literally have like 20 minutes to get ready to go out with my friend, and I'm like making a video, so I'm sorry if it's not good. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to use that shade right there. And also just continue to deepen that up a little bit. And then just blend it with the same brush I used in the start. And I forgot to do this in the beginning, but I used this um, MAC eyeshadow in White Frost. And just put it right here. Just to brighten everything up a little bit. Okay, once I've got that how I like it, I'm going to not do the lower lash line because I messed up and did that last time even though I need to do it after my face makeup. Take this up. Becca eyeliner back all like messed up. It's this compact that you get wet and then yeah. So I'm just gonna wet this little like angled brush right here in some Max M Max Mac Fix Plus and then wet it here and then I'm just gonna do a little liner. So there we go. Okay, so this eye looks way worse than the other eye, and I don't know why, but like, let's just keep going because otherwise I'm never gonna finish. So, so I haven't done the lower lash line yet, and we're just gonna go to my face, and um, so I'm just gonna prime my face with this Elizabeth Arden Good Morning Skin Serum. I've been loving it lately. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever a Ultra HD con Conditioner Foundation in Y225 um, It's a, like a little dark for me, but like in the summer it's fine Oops, almost out That'll have to do Let's just dot that all over my face that better be good enough and um since i'm kind of running low on product instead of a beauty blender i'm going to use this um miyoko random brush that i have and just use that to blend it out okay since i don't really need it to be any more full coverage than this just conceal the other parts i'm going to take the same one that i was using earlier the boing whatever by benefit and let's just put that under my eyes and wherever else a normal person conceals. And now I'm actually going to blend this one out with um, a beauty blender because I don't like blending concealer with a brush. 
Okay, and since I already don't look super full coverage, I'm just going to go in with um, this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 1 because I'm super pale, yay! And they have um, like five shades, which is really nice because even though it's not like colored powder, um, I guess it could show up really light on some skin tone. And I'm just going to set my entire face with that. It just adds like a like nice, not shiny, but glowy finish, so yes. Okay, now that my face is all set and one, whatever, wait. There we go. I really need a ring light. Um, what was that? I'm gonna take Park Avenue Princess from Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighter. I feel like I see this every single day. Um, anyway, and I'm just gonna bronze up my forehead and cheeks with it. Um, I'm not gonna do any like contour today, just general bronze. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I swear it always looks more like blotchy on camera than it does in, in person. I mean, it's not even blotchy at all in person. But on the camera, I look a little, a little uneven. Ugh. Let's just bronze her up a bit. I'm just gonna take the same brush and like, do the sides a little bit. I don't know how to talk today. Yeah. Good job, Chloe. Okay. Now that I finished bronzing, I'm gonna go in with um, some highlight, of course, and I'm going to take, I don't know, this palette that I just got yesterday, or just came in the mail yesterday. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Highlighting Palette. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. I haven't, like, worn it yet. I just swatched it on my arm, but it looks super, super pretty, and the packaging is, like, to die for. It's so pretty. I love, like, these, this is my aesthetic right here. It's so, so, so gorgeous. Like, I'm dying posted a video of it with flash on my um on my makeup instagram so it'll be linked down below um anyway let's go into that i'm gonna take this number 65 highlighting brush from sephora and i don't know what shade to go with they all look so gorgeous like this is literally like one swipe they look so 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 pretty i'm really excited i think i'm gonna go in with spotlight I like that would complement this look. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Hi. Hi, sorry. It's okay, um, come in. Dude, um, is your Instagram working? Which one? Just Instagram. Okay, now I'm all highlighty. Oh, I just stupid phone because I don't have a camera. Or I'm just too lazy to do it with the camera. Anyway, oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Now I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm going to go in with that really pretty like purple shade down here. I'm an idiot. This one, the purple one. The one right above the really pretty teal one. It's like my favorite one of all. Um, and I'm just going to dip that in and go on my lower lash line. So. And I'm going to go almost all the way, but not quite because you don't want the inner center to like close up so I'm just gonna go like about three-fourths of the way and then <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take like a dark brown shade it doesn't really matter which one and just to help like blend that out you know and I'm just gonna take like a you know big blending brush thingy and just blend that out now I'm done with the eye makeup except for mascara obviously and actually I'm gonna take like I feel like like I need some like gold you know mm. speckly thingy it's broken it's really old it's from Kate I don't you're not gonna find it anyway it's just like this like glittery pretty sparkly shit and then I'm just gonna tag this MAC 219 SES brush and like pick some of that up and put it in the inner corner just to like glow up a little bit okay i don't know how much you can see but like it's just like this pretty gold so yeah okay so to be real i wanted to go in with lashes that's why i did kind of a thicker wing like false lashes and then i'm just like can't be bothered so i'm just gonna go in with this mac upward lash 
mascara in an upward block. That's the shade. And um, coat that all over my lashes, top and bottom. Okay, so the eyes are all done there. Now let's finish off with the lips. Um, I still don't know what to do. Let's see. Okay, so I just pulled out this biscotti nude liner from Becca that I haven't used in like ever. Oh, that's really light. Uh, that's like actually like nude. Wait, what's the other side like? No, I'm gonna go with the other side and then just find a color to match it. So let's just line those lippies. Okay, and that's it for the finished look. <coughs> I feel like this color would match. This is Viva Glam 2. Yeah, let's go for that, okay? Yeah. Okay, now that's it for the finished look. Um, I'm almost out of storage, so I'm like trying to rush, but um, yes, um, can I stop saying, um, I'm so annoying. Anyway, this is the look. My lips look kind of, like, ignore them. They don't look the best. I don't know. I'm just not that good at doing my lipstick. But anyway, sorry if the video was kind of, um, rushed or not that good, but I'll keep trying to make videos, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.